Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a member of the Chatterbox, now is the time to go ahead and join. You can click the link in the description bar and go to my About Me tab and um, find the link there. It is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Um, the Chatterbox is a place where it is for doll collectors to feel a little bit more safer and secure in there, not trolls everywhere where we can talk about doll topics and anything that we want. I do live, uh, basically I do a live stream every month with um, the Chatterbox at least and sometimes I drop uh, extra videos in there. Uh, so I've been talking about like uh, caring for silicone babies and stuff like that in the chatterbox alone before now but out here I just did a video um, speaking about how I take care of my silicone babies and how I maintain them and my way is just my way it's not like I'm saying that is facts and you know this is the only way I'm just saying this is how I do it um what else was I gonna tell you guys um yeah, so I also wanted to go into two things. One thing I forgot to mention that I thought was just like a given, but I'm going to mention it because someone said it in the comment section, is always wash your hands before you interact with your dolls, reborns, or silicones because the oils, the lotions in your hands, you don't want that on your dolls. Um, so, in, in, in their paint. But today I was going to talk about armatures. And I'm gonna get her dressed and you know whatever else come up look at her. so you know I've said a lot about Nori having armatures um, I have always liked armatures um, some people a lot of people don't always love armatures because they feel like it takes away from the jiggle of the silicone which is Part of the fascination with silicone is seeing how it just falls and jiggles and dangles and stuff like that. So I totally get that. Um, but for me, a big part of my collecting is photo, taking photos and, um, you know, just take being able to take photos and posing them. You know, if a kit is not, you know, posable, I really try not to... Uh, get those type kits um, even with some of my reborns if I feel like the the limbs are in awkward positions and stuff like that I, I tend to stray away from them just because I like to be able to pose my babies and stuff like that so armatures help with that but let's talk about some of the the, the deeper concerns about armatures so the biggest concern of course is that you're like oh my god this soft silicone has this wiry thing inside of it is it going to poke through the silicone? Um, let me first say by <laughs> say this, that anything is possible, right? Anything is possible. You know, um, I could stand here and say no and someone say, uh-huh, because my friend zone did it or so-and-so did it. Um, I think with if we're handling them properly and carefully, I think that they will be fine. Also, I will also say it depends on how they're installed as well. A lot of people are starting to do aftermarket pro products on babies. Like they'll buy a baby from, let's say, you know, um, a, a one artist and then they'll send it to their friend artist or someone else and they'll install armatures in, in that baby um, for them. Um, and so you just want to make sure that uh, for one, you void your warranty on your baby when you do that. That's number one. Um, number two, if there's a warranty. Um, number two, you want to make sure that that friend is really, or that other artist really know what they're doing as far as installing the armatures because it's not one of the things that you want to bootleg. <laughs> Same with like drinking wets and stuff like that. But armatures are pretty secure, like so, most of them. Um... Sometimes you might get one that's n feel a little shaky, a little iffy. Um, and if that hadn't been disclosed to you, 
I'm sorry, but um, anytime I've had one that was like a little bit, uh, maybe a little iffy, the uh, sculptor have disclosed it to me. But I, you know, like I said, Jennifer doesn't like to do armatures in, especially like in the little babies like Nori. But I, I have to say <laughs> that I really feel like her armatures are some of the very, the, at least in, in my Nori, it's very secure, feels very secure, and I feel very confident that I'm not going to have any issues with her um, long term of her armatures poking out. They're really done really nice, and they feel very secure, and I don't feel them, like, poking anywhere. Like, I can't feel it poking. I feel that it's one in there when I feel down in there, but I don't, um... I don't really feel it. And I think when I watched her do uh, my Nori armatures, because she has a video where she's doing her armatures and all that, um, I like when I saw her pour like some silicone inside there or something. I feel like it, it, it created like a wall of protection. Um, so I, I, I like that. Um, but yeah, so armatures, you know, you just want to hold them. You don't want to be like, jabbing them and if you do feel like say for instance if I felt one in the arm or leg or somewhere you want to hold it when you bend it you know just hold it down when you bend it don't just be ramming in and you guys some some of you guys are really rough with your dolls and it, it you know like I said that's why I say anything can happen um you know, it's just like I did mention the drinking wets, but just like the drinking wets, you know, a lot of people are worried about the drinking wets. But, you know, if you don't put all kinds of foolishness in them, you should be OK. I got this little outfit from uh, Reggie Ann's dolls a while back. I was buying it for another doll that I had in my collection, but it was too big. Um, It's just one of those things where. You know, 14 inches is really not 14. Oh, I know what I was going to get. Oh, I forgot. I bought this little jumper thing, jean jumper outfit. I bet it fits Nori. Um, but anyway, so I have, this is micro preemie huggies. And then I have uh, preemie P2 pampers. I'm going to try the pampers. So I think, I'm pretty sure this is the same size as this one. So, I'm going to try this one and see how it fits her. This will be her first diaper change. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, I, I wouldn't be so afraid of, of the armatures. But, I'll tell you what the best armatures are. If you like jiggle, but you don't want to, you want to be able to pose them. Um, I like the elbow armatures. Like, if if a baby is offered with elbow armatures, I almost always get the elbow armatures. Because the arms still jiggle a little bit, and the legs, and then I leave them out of the legs. Um, I love, uh, elbow armatures. I do. Someone was asking about knee armatures, like, just in a kneecap area. The only person that I know that have done something like that is Claire Teller in her dolls um but you know of course not in her kits so you definitely gonna have to pay the price for that <laughs> um i think it was only in one edition though i'm not sure well gee whiz is this thing like broke some of these diapers i swear <laughs> i can't stand them okay so I guess they fit. I be wanting to see her little line on her belly, but these diapers be covering it up. But um, another reason why I would get armatures on a baby, too, beyond just the posing, is I would get armatures in a baby if um the limbs are awkward. Like uh, there's a particular sculptor. Her arms are usually like, 
either too long or too short or they are sculpted in a weird position uh, where they're not going to like bend much and stuff like that. I'll get armatures in that baby just because um, I, I want to like normalize the, the pose of the baby. So um, like I would never buy one of her dolls without armatures. So that's 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 another another reason to get armatures. Um, now with the really soft silicone out, there's a a um, a lot of babies that don't need it now because they will, you know, pose and bend, you know, however you want. Um, because see, I don't like having to do like very like I don't like I know. And y'all forgive me, I'm not talking about you guys. I know that people do it. <laughs> but I don't like to have to tuck the hand under the, the, the chin. Um, I see people doing that to try to hold the position. I don't, I don't like having to do all that. I like to be able to just pose my baby. Like, and I, like with her, she has full armatures. And I like that, you know, I can... I could do all kinds of craziness with her. But, um, let's see. Lori, these look like they're going to be big, to be honest. But we'll try. We will try. We will try. Let's see. Ooh, you might surprise me. Yep, she can fit them. A little baggy, but not too much. But yeah, some babies like um, I wanted armatures in Jaden, but it wasn't offered because of the way he was sculpted or something. She said that she couldn't um, put them in there, so I was like, yeah. So that kind of was a bummer but then when I got him I was like oh he don't really need them I was like he does he does okay without them and them big old white socks them, them, that's not that's not it no worry but we're gonna we're gonna let you wear them just because for right now <laughs> all right and I didn't bring you another hat which sucks yeah, she's gonna fit this fine. I don't. I don't really want to put it on her though. Now, I don't, and I don't think this is her color. I don't. I don't really like this color on her a lot either. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. So that is it. That's all I got to say about armatures. Is that you know I love with and without. Um, I think that they are safe to have. I really enjoy using them. Um, you know, they turn your head so they can see you. Uh, her little ears. <laughs> her little ears. Uh, da, 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 da. oh, before I go, cause I'm going to, I'm going to flip over. I do, I do all my recording in one day. Usually I try to try to do as much as I can in one day and then slowly upload it. And I want to do one of my reborns next, but, um, I bought nori a whole bunch of like hand mitts um for whatever reason i really like her hand mitts this is probably you would consider this boy because it's brown and blue and stuff but i like it <laughs> oh and i found this little shirt <laughs> put on a a little mr renity smith uh half shirt i might put her on that i think i will and you know it actually match her uh her leggings i just thought about that hold on so that's cool um but yeah i bought her a lot of little hammocks and booties from uh preemie baby uh the preemie store i'm sorry not preemie baby the preemie store it worked they they fit perfectly on her and i really really love love them and they have the hats and um that fit her size perfectly as well so which she's wearing one of the hats 
Um, yeah, see, I like this because <laughs> it leave her stomach out. You don't even have to pull it up. It's just going to leave it out. Um, this shirt was made. I had uh, a little preemie baby and it was supposed to be for that baby, but it ended up being too small. And um, so it was just still given to me. <laughs> and I, I actually like it. Um, so yeah, but I can actually put her back on these and this if I wanted to. It match. Or at least the booties I could put her on. Those match. I think I'm going to put her back on these. So cool. So cool, mama. We found something to match. Because I had forgot to order the shirt. Well, I ordered a, put a lot of stuff in my cart, and I do that when I'm shopping. Then I start taking it out when I look at the balance, and I'm like, oh, let me take this out, let me take that out. And I accidentally took out her shirt. So, and her matching color hat. So, that happens sometimes. But, yeah, there we go. All right. So, we're all set. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Oh, look at you. I love this little girl. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll talk to you in a minute.